I think it's undertreated. I think it's underdiagnosed. It's a fact that 10% of us, as we reach the age of 80, will develop atrial fibrillation. Many patients that I see for the first time who need a valve repair, a valve replacement, who need bypass surgery, have no awareness that they've had atrial fibrillation and until you start digging deeper. You ask them, have you ever felt any palpitations? Have you ever felt an irregularity in your pulse? And they say, you know what? I have. So then I go back to the cardiologist and say, we need to monitor this patient before they have an operation because it's a missed opportunity. If you did not do a maze procedure, this is an opportunity to help the patient in a different way by treating their atrial fibrillation as well. I'm very fortunate to have a community of patients that have operated on that. I don't just stop interacting with it the, following the operation. We develop wonderful relationships and I get feedback from them. When someone comes to me and they have atrial fibrillation and their heart function is actually impaired from this, from an abnormal rhythm where their heart should be running on eight cylinders as I, as I like to say and instead they're running on two or three cylinders. When you add a maze procedure to the valvular heart operation or bypass surgery, then you hear down the road from them personally that they're back to running eight cylinders, that they have no atrial fibrillation anymore. They're back to doing things that they were doing ten years prior. It's worth it. It's worth it to me, it's worth it to the patient, a privilege that I don't take for granted.